I'm Coach Butel, Gilmore Academy. Giving a big shout out to Ohio Sports Net. I'm Abby Deckard from Gilmore Academy, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net. Hi, this is Kale Tazro from Gilmore Academy Girls Basketball, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net. What did you guys look to get out of your first playoff game here? Um, we just wanted to win. Like we take it one game at a time, but we plan ahead, so we're preparing for other teams. But we just wanted to get this win in, like get our feet under us, and just like make a statement that we're here. What what statement do you think you made? That we're ready to play. Being the number one seed, is any extra pressure? Um, it's a little pressure because um, everyone knows that they have to have to beat us, but. It's also a big confidence booster because we know a lot of people have faith in us and think that we're good enough to go all the, all the way to the regional finals. How nice is it having Jess, you know, to help you down there down low? Um, it's good. She's got those long arms and then you know if she turns around and puts it up that it will most likely go in. So. You think that's an advantage you two six-footers along with the shooters you guys have? Yeah, because I don't think anyone really knows what to do because if they collapse in on us, we have people like Kayla, Dom, and Rachel that can sink a three, but then if they don't double team on Jess, then they just like they have nothing to do against Jess. What's a realistic goal for the Lancers this year? I think we can go to state and possibly win it. Honestly, we just wanted to come and play our best game. Um, we've, you know, we know that we have a lot like a long, long road ahead of us. We want to get as far as we can in the state tournament. So we just want to come with a lot of energy and uh, play as a team and come with a win best we can. Number one seed, is that any extra pressure on you guys? Um, well, it just makes us aware that we're, we're a favorite and, and we should win in the future. But um, it, does, you know, it does put pressure on us, but we know we can do it. So it'll be good. Overall, how would you rate your team's performance tonight? Um, pretty solid. We, you know, there's always things that we have to work on um, defensively and offensively, but we're going to take care of them in practice this week and next week. So we'll be ready for Saturday and our next game. How nice is having the size you guys have, a couple six-footers? It's great. Uh, Abby and Jess are, are awesome. You know, if, Especially me being a guard, if I get in a bind, um, I can always have them to, to bail me out if I need it. So, it's good. <laughs> What's a realistic goal for the Lancers this year? Um, realistically, I, we do have a chance to go to state, so we're going we're gonna to do our best to get there. I'm Brooke Rakovich for Kaiga Heights High School for girls basketball, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net. This is Coach Hayes from Hawkins School, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net.
Transition is the name of the game for you guys tonight. Got you that big lead early. Yeah, even when we don't have a good game, we can get back on transition and try with our hard defense, and that's how we scored like 12 points on transition because we weren't making any shots on our offense, so we can rely on our defense to come back. You think that was the case? You guys got the double-digit lead early, but then their zone kind of shut down? Yeah, their zone kind of shut it down, and then usually you make our shots, but we weren't making it, and we didn't want to get upset with ourselves, so we just tried hard on defense and got steals and then converted on the points. So. Even if you weren't getting steals, I mean, you only give up 20-some points. Right. It's hard. We just try to lock down on defense, even we don't make a lot of shots. When it's a low-scoring game, 10-point lead's kind of a lot. You just have to have composure. Overall, how, are you, how would you grade your team's performance tonight? I would say it was about a 6 out of 10. We play a lot better, but we try to lock down on defense. So. At the same time, it's your first playoff game, so right. some jitters maybe? Yeah, a little bit jitters. And then we also beat Hawkins twice, but we didn't want to come into the games thinking we're already going to beat them, but we also didn't play our best performance. So. Being a high seed in the district, does that matter to you guys at all? No, not at all. We go into it, we play Laurel next, we just lost to them previously. And we're just going to go into there and try to beat them because we got the revenge, so it'll be a good game. Seemed like a transition was the name of the game tonight, especially in the first quarter. Got you that early lead. Yeah, we had, we had trouble scoring. I thought they played real well defensively, but we pushed the ball either off steals or even off rebounds a few times, and that's not really typical of us, but it really helped us tonight. Seemed like their zone kind of locked you down as well. That helped you then with the transition? Yeah, we were struggling scoring against the zone, so the transition was really the only way we were getting points. And we really did a nice job of getting the passing lanes a few times for some, for some turnovers that led to points for us. And even just defensively the whole game, to hold the team in the 20s, that's a testament to your team. Yeah, we did a nice job defensively. We knew we had to guard them, especially when we were struggling shooting shots, so the girls were really focused on playing good defense in case we weren't able to score any points. Overall, how would you grade the team's performance first playoff game? Good. I thought we played hard. I really thought Hawking did a nice job. They, they ran the zone well. The girls really hustled and forced us to take some tough shots, but overall, I thought we played well. First quarter, transition defense. Got them the early lead with steals and some easy looks. You'd Absolutely. agree with that? Um, I think that, that was, I think that's tough. I think that's something to kind of scare our kids back into the game, like, oh, we're here to play. Um, I think it's a great program, a great team. Um, so I think we can't give that away to them. Um, how they function, how they play together. Us being a completely new team this year, we're slowly getting our kinks worked out, and us being in the second round of the tournament, which hasn't happened in a while, the kids were a little bit on the nervous side, so that first quarter was tough for us. Give your team testament. If they stuck with it the rest of the way, then played them even. It looks like your zone gave them fits in the half court. Absolutely, and that was something that we tried to throw in there just as something extra um, to add to our defensive repertoire. I think that defense has been our strongest asset with how young of the kids that we have, of them just learning the game of basketball, that defense is something that we can always fall back on and, and really and truly bring to the game. Um, but I think that 2 3 was what was needed with this type of play and with these types of offense that Kaiga Heights has. What would your team take out of a loss like this? Um, our strongest thing is that we're bringing back the entire team next year. We don't have any seniors, and all of these kids are here to play and have the heart and, and drive. And we talked about knowing what this feels like and holding on to what this feels like and remembering that next year and using that as fuel to contend and make a name for ourselves and kind of own this loss as a fuel and motivation for 
how hard we're going to work for the future. Overall, what did you think of Tiger Heights? Tiger Heights is a great program, I and mean, he's won the conference. I think it's the fourth season in a row. Um, Martin does a great job with those girls. I think that's something that we kind of use as that fuel for our conference, um, saying that we want to contend and we want to fight with Kyle Heights. We want to make sure that they know that we're here to play um, and that we are going to fight all four quarters and we're not going to necessarily give up in that same capacity.